I think Dear Evan Hansen affects people because it understands the way that we think we're unique in feeling alone and doesn't want to ever shy away from that or ask people to, to, to even be alone in, in watching it. It asks you to just fully be there and with Evan, with other people in communion and just sort of understand that like you aren't unique in that way. You don't, you don't have to feel like in a time where you, especially we feel more alone than ever, like that, that you're the only one going through that, which is such like a generous thing, I think, is letting people have that like relief of knowing it's not just, it's not just you, it's hard. And that's, that's the show to me. And it's, I mean, it's still, it, I still like, I still cry watching it, you know? So, so <laughs> sometimes, sometimes some, some things just punch in the gut, you know? <laughs> I don't think before Evan Hansen, a lot of people were talking about young people and the way they feel in that way. And that's sort of like, hey, let's get real about this kind of way. It's a very multi-generational story, obviously, with like the high school kids, with Connor and Evan's parents. And I just think it's, it's a very healing experience.